السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وبعد <coughs> It goes without saying that the current times are for many people overwhelming, burdening and something that they can't get off their minds. Assume a person has been laid off, a person is told to stay at home, it becomes very difficult on a personal level for such cases to shake off the idea of how severe the situation is. And if we happen to be in the category of people who may not be directly affected by the current situation, we're students and we're at home and you know what, we have more time on our hands. But just the fact that we see all that's happening, people around us are suffering, people are dying, people are getting sick, people are you know, going through such difficulties that are globally for a long time in the modern era, we haven't witnessed it. It can become something that can bring someone down and break their That is exactly why today, more than ever, we are in a need to strengthen our morale, our spirits, our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, previously we spoke about dedicating a place in the home as a place to worship Allah, a corner, put a musalla there, pray, read Quran. Today, I feel what's important is to talk about is how we can be mindful of the information that we're consuming so that it does not exacerbate our current situation. And what do I mean by that? Assume you're at home. If you're working from home, fine. If you're not working from home, fine. If you're a student, you know what, you have classes or you don't have classes. Whatever the case is, we have so much more time on our hands because of which we're scrolling through our news feed, we're reading the news, we're getting inundated with information about, you know, cases that are skyrocketing, people are getting more sick, things are getting worse. Now, it's important that we be aware of the current circumstance so that we can best protect ourselves and our community and our families. But what you don't want to do is overwhelm yourself with this information to the point that it makes you despair. So, all right, fine, I'll set, us out, set aside a time during the day that the, day, the point in the day that I'm going to use to read the news will be after Maghrib Salah. After Maghrib Salah is done, I'm going to sit down, spend half an hour, read the news, be aware of everything that's happening. Fine, that's my daily dosage. But if I have a haphazard, unscheduled way of just reading the news at every time I read it, then all that information that I'm consuming can eventually be psychologically harmful for me. Because if only negativity is coming in and there's no way to redirect that, then it can lead to a lot of serious cases. Add to that the fact that many of us are already self-isolating, we aren't in contact with other people, so there's no output, and there's a lot of negative input, it can become harmful. So what we should avoid is unnecessary amount of information coming in that is negative without an output. Rather, what we need to do is be in control of what we listen, what we say, and what we hear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that what we see, what we say, what we hear, they're all going to be questioned on the Day of Judgment. And if, because I'm so bored, I need to entertain myself, I constantly read the news, well, there's just so much harm in it that it can dissuade me from being optimistic. And the quality of a believer is he or she is always optimistic. That, okay, the news is telling me right now that we're going to have to quarantine for another, we're going to be on a lockdown for another two or three months. There's a lot of speculation involved. Is it, is it not going to be? But that information doesn't give me certainty, but what it does do is make me feel more negative about myself. The information that I should be taking in is, all right, this is what's happening. This is what you can do to prevent yourself from getting worse. This is what you, do, what you can do to spiritually uplift yourself. Read information that is beneficial instead of overwhelming ourselves and drowning ourselves in information that is negative. 
And I'm not going to say this is an easy task, right? Because when we're in quarantine, we're looking for every means possible to get that, you know, moment of uh, entertainment, the moment of, you know what, forgetting our current state. But reading so much negative news is harmful. So without doing that, what should we do? So what we should do is try to keep ourselves busy with things that are beneficial for us. Now, when I'm saying something is beneficial, definitely priority would be that we talk about matters of the hereafter. That I read the Quran, I do adhkar, I, um, I uh, do my adhkar, I, I read the ahadith with my family, we educate ourselves, that's fine. But what we should also do is develop hobbies, do things together. All right, you know what? Since I have to stay home anyways, all right, together as a family, let's clean up the house. Or together as a family, let's cook something. Or together as a family, let's have a picnic in our backyard. Or be creative in what we can do. Instead of having so much input, let's have output. And the unique quality of a Muslim is they are always optimistic and they make the best out of their situation. They don't look at the situation and they say, you know, subhanAllah, Nabi Wasallam tells us in a hadith that whoever says people are doomed, then that person is the most doomed. If we take a negative outlook to the situation, then it's going to exacerbate the situation. What we should do instead is sit down and tell ourselves, okay, as a family, let's have reading time. We'll all read a book together. If it's a book on the lives of the Sahaba, alhamdulillah, or even if it's a normal book and we just want to read it just for leisure time, but do something productive. Right now is the most important time to do it because the habits that we set in in this early stage will stay with us for the remainder of the days or weeks or months or however long it will take. So time right now to set a schedule, be proactive, do things positive. And to do things positive, like I said, it can be over and above just doing adhkar and reading Quran. That is definitely part of our schedule. But we need to do things collectively. I'm going to sit down, take a book of hadith and read with my family. Or I'll sit with my family and play a board game, have some fun, do something. Instead of everybody on their smartphones, everyone's on the couch, on the bed, just relaxing, just without any schedule. No, we need to be proactive. So two things that to summarize. Number one, we need to be very vigilant of what is our intake. If I'm constantly intaking negative information while I'm in this quarantine without any output, then all that's going to happen is I'm going to continue to sink and sink and sink. And then I won't even find the energy to do ibadah. The second thing that we need to do is be creative during these times and do things collectively. How do we do things collectively? All right, mashallah, what we're going to do is together we will read a book of hadith. Together we will do an activity. Together we're going to turn the back. Or together we'll cook something, we'll bake something. We need to do something to keep ourselves socially functionable. We just lose, we retire to our own little corner. Media, by the time this is over, we're going to be so damaged, it may have a psychological effect on us. So, in summary, let's try to be aware of what comes in and be very proactive about positive things that go out. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to schedule ourselves around something that is positive and may He allow us to be vigilant of whatever we consume. Jazakum Allah khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.